Hello mates, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be telling you the things that I believe that you should know before you go and get tattooed that will help you to avoid regretting your tattoos in the future. Now obviously this is all just my opinion based on my experience of getting tattoos over the last 10 years or so. And um, this is by no means a definitive list so if you can think of some other things that you think I've missed out, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. So without further fucking about, Let's get into it. So first up, my first tip is to really like think about the tattoo itself that you're gonna get. Now this sounds incredibly obvious and like just common sense. So let me break down what I really mean by this. Make sure you've done your research and you're choosing a style that is right for you. I have another video where I break down all the tattoo styles if you're not sure about this. Make sure you're choosing a subject that you won't grow tired of, that you will know will have a lot of longevity in your life. I know for me, when I was younger, I had a lot of ideas about what I wanted to get and I'm so glad I didn't go through with a lot of the ideas that I had because I know that me, as a 28 year old now, would be so embarrassed to be walking around with these things on my body. Also, really take the time to think about and speak with your tattoo artist about placement. Choose a placement that is not gonna complicate your life. I love neck tattoos, right? I love hand tattoos, I love how they look, but I know if I was to get those areas tattooed at this current point in my life, Chances are they're gonna cause me some real complications in the future later on in life. Like if I wanted to change jobs or if I moved to like a different part of the country or moved country altogether, they could cause me real issues. And this is something that you really should be considering too. On the subject of placement, try to choose a placement that won't alter too much with time. Your skin moves, right? It stretches, right? Think about how this might affect a tattoo that you wanna put in an area. You can do this by kind of moving the area around, seeing what your skin does. You can maybe take a marker pen and draw on the area and then flex the area to see how the kind of skin moves. Now it's how it's gonna distort the tattoo. Like for example, look at my butterfly tattoo, okay? Normal, weird. Normal, weird. I mean, this doesn't have to be a huge issue, but it's just something that you should be aware of. And of course, one of the most important parts of any tattoo process is making sure that you're going to the right tattoo studio and the right tattoo artist. There's a ton of ways out there to find the right tattoo artist for you. The most common way is online, in particular through Instagram. A lot of tattoo artists will use Instagram as a promotional tool and a way of getting their work out there in order to entice in clients. Check out a tattoo artist's healed work as well as their fresh work to kind of get an idea of how their tattoos will age as well. I've done a whole other video on my advice for how you should go about choosing a tattoo artist check that out for more tips. Okay, so I feel like those things were probably like the most obvious kind of basic bitch things that you should think about. So here are some more personal ones that I think you should consider. You don't know how your views and your identity might change over the next few years. You don't know for sure who you're gonna be a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, 10 years, 20 years from now. So try not to get tattoos that are linked to like a specific mindset or motivation that you're just in right now. Like for example, I say this as someone who grew up very Christian who at the age of 16 wanted to get a bunch of Christian tattoos. Fortunately, by the age of 18, those were the last things in the world that I wanted, but imagine I had got all of those tattoos and then a few years later, I was no longer Christian and I was still stuck with all those tattoos, right? There's something you should think about. My next thing that I think you guys should know, I don't think it's a particularly nice one, but it is true. And that's that people will judge you based on your looks especially if you're heavily tattooed or visibly tattooed. It can be the first thing that people will notice about you. And they then make assumptions about you and your character based on your tattoos. So are you gonna be okay with that? People also wanna to speak to you about your tattoos. So you need to think about if you want to slash can deal with all that extra attention. Like are you a really quiet or introverted person because tattoos in my experience are an absolute dickhead magnet and draw all sorts of utter twats to you. Are you gonna be okay dealing with that? This next one, fortunately, I've not really experienced myself, but I have heard it from a bunch of different people, and that's that tattoos may affect the way that you feel that you can dress. Again, not everyone, but I have heard various people say this. They feel their tattoos prevent them from wearing various things because they don't feel like those things go with their tattoos or they feel that their tattoos prevent them from being able to pull off certain things. It's just something to be aware of. Another really big one that I think is so important to think about is are tattoos acceptable where you live? Or are they gonna cause you a whole bunch of unwanted attention 
and then cause you a load of issues. Really, really think about this one. I'm from a really small town where tattoos weren't very common at all. So if you were heavily tattooed, you were gonna get the stink eye, you were gonna get a load of grief from people. Fortunately, now I live somewhere where people don't bat an eye at tattoos. Think about where you live and how the people that live around you are likely to treat you if you get tattooed, especially if you're gonna get visibly tattooed or heavily tattooed. And lastly, just think about what you really wanna get. Try not to get blasted or just covered for the sake of it without really caring about the images that are going on your body. I mean, everybody knows this, but these things are pretty permanent, right? And there shouldn't be a huge rush. It's okay to just really take your time and sit on ideas for a while and give yourself time to research and to just really think about is this an image that you want to commit to for the rest of your life? So that is it. Those are the things that I think that you need to know in order to avoid regretting your tattoos. Do you think I missed any out? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Sorry if this was like a really negative video. Tattoos are fucking great, I swear. But it's also really common for people to regret them. So I think it's important that people know all of these things and have all the facts in advance. Give this video a like and hit the subscribe button and all of that other YouTube bollocks. If you like the music that you're hearing in the background, well, it was actually all produced by me. I've got another channel where I post beats slash instrumentals that I've written for singers to use to write songs to. So if that is something that you are interested in, I'll put a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.